All right. First and foremost, I'm going to start off by saying Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Call Halal Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakakodash. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, according to the Paleo Hebrew, and Yahweh Shai is the name of His Son, our Lord and our Savior, according to the Paleo Hebrew. We are the nation of Yahshua Allah, the chosen people of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Which consists of the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans of today. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Shalawan, be sincere, Akin, pushing this truth and sincerity. And Shalawan to the sincere Akwath, who listen and learn and who believe. Lord willing, this be edifying to the elect. All right, as you see here on the screen, uh, this is kind of kind of a movie review or or, or uh, series uh, Netflix series review. And it's a pretty much a, a series or a show that already came out. It's called Black Mirror. And uh, as you can see here, it got the arrow pointing to the little thing on the, on the, on the side of the man's head. And it's pretty much within, it's the, pretty much the first episode of the series. And I watched it yesterday. And, uh, you know, that, that, it kind of took me back. But, it, but then again, I'm not surprised on the wickedness uh, that's uh, being pushed in this wicked kingdom, you know. Apparently, the show been out since 2011, but I'm just not watching it. But uh, pretty much within the show, uh, just uh, skipping fast forward to the point, this man pretty much is living a, a normal life. You know, he has a beautiful wife and a child, and then pretty much, you know, Jake is into video games, and uh, pretty much uh, the. I guess the new technology of that that time, whatever time it was, uh, it was a pretty much a little chip or a little thing that you could put on the side of your head and get in, uh, connected to the game. And uh, pretty much he got that gift from a childhood friend of his, or I guess one of his good close friends. And uh, pretty much they both went inside the game and it's pretty much a fighting game. And his his close friend picked a, a female character to play in the fighting game, and him, as you can see here on the screen, he picked a male fighting character. Okay, and let me show you a picture of his friend. There it is, right there. See, it went from playing the regular video games to putting it in your head and being inside the game. Okay, and that's that's the friend being connected uh, later down the line in the future of the of the episode. So pretty much they get inside the game and the friend gets a female character and this guy here on the screen picks a male character and they end up fighting and I guess he's asking questions about the game, uh, you know, how to fight, how to get used to it and then it gets to a point where he starts warming up to the game and then they end up on top of each other and they start kissing, you know, that, that's the type of uh, abominations that we have to behold here in this wicked kingdom. And it kind of reminds me of uh, Ezekiel 9 and 4. Set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Okay? And we sighing and crying because this place, this place got to go. You know? But we waiting on Yahweh Bashim Yahshua, patiently waiting for our Lord's return. And that goes into long suffering, you know? So I'm going to just get some precepts before I go back into the plantation. Leviticus 20 and 13. If a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. Okay. And within the, within the episode, you know, the guy picked a female character and the other guy picked a male character and then they started making out and they kept playing the game uh you know time after time after get again and they weren't even doing the premise of the game they weren't fighting they were pretty much you know getting it in <laughs> every time so uh you know esau has his wicked agenda and he puts uh jake as the forefront of that wicked agenda to promote it uh and uh, pretty much after, after a while, the, pretty much the two friends, 
had uh, came to a conclusion to see if they were gay in reality. And they met up. And, it, and then the, the guy said, pretty much just kiss me. So we could see if there is something going on. That's the wickedness that we have to behold in this wicked kingdom. All right. And also going into the little the game, how you got to put the little thing in your forehead, you know, uh, on the side of your head. It goes into Revelation uh, 13, 16, the MOTB. But right now I'm, I'm just harping on the wickedness of, of a man lying with another man. You know, that's a, that's complete and utter wickedness okay proverbs 11 and 1 a false balance is an abomination to the lord but a just weight is his delight all right so yahweh shimyavishai made man and woman okay night and day good and evil bad and good you know there's a balance okay the sun and the moon okay and the point is that Yahweh Bashim Shai made man and woman, okay? And, and a lot of our people are drunk, are drunk off the the wine of Babylon, all right? And then they're actually following this alphabet community. And, and the, the another wickedness that we're gonna call out about Esau Edom is that they changed the the symbol of the rainbow into the alphabet community symbol, when it's really a covenant. That the Most High, Yahweh Shemiah Shah, made with, with flesh upon the earth, man and flesh upon the earth, that he wouldn't flood the earth again. Alright? So I'm going to read down at verse 4. It says, uh, Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but but righteousness delivereth from death. And, and those two uh, actors, those two Jake actors, they were pretty much well known in the... In the uh, the industry, the fact that they even took that role and, and, and kissed one another on the show, and period, you know, is an abomination, a wicked act. And, and, and the riches that they got from that, you know, I'm sure Esau paid them a pretty penny, you know. The riches that they got from that is not going to profit them in the day of the Lord, okay? So, you know, don't even follow up these industry uh, sellouts. Uh, uh, for Esau Edom Okay So I wanted to get Leviticus 20 and 13 again in the NLT And I'll end it on that And it reads If a man practices homosexuality Having sex with another man As with a woman Both men have committed A detestable act They must They must both be put to death for they are guilty of a capital offense so yeah you know you can you can pretty much watch the show but i pretty much spoiled it already and i wouldn't recommend watching the show you know so uh lord willing this is edifying to the elect of the nation of yasha allah say double honors to the elders and the apostles of great millstone shalom to the sincere akim pushing the truth and sincerity shalom to the sincere aqua Shalom.